Hello fellow space nerds and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Today I'm going to be showing you a video about how to make a VTOL. If you do not know what a VTOL is, it is it stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing. Or in my case, because I'm a bad pilot, Vertical Takeoff and Crashing. Anyways, I'm going to show an example here uh, that I made earlier. Um, just a few days ago. It took me five, maybe ten minutes to build. Uh, fairly simple craft. Um, just takes off vertically, just like that. Put the landing gear up right away. And when you get high enough, you switch the. I clicked the wrong button. Uh, okay, you switch it. And I'm using the afterburners just to speed it up a bit more. You don't have to if you get high enough, but that's just so I don't hit the ground. Uh, you see, it flies actually pretty quickly. Uh, I think this one can get up to Mach 1, which is pretty good for a VTOL, but some of them have more difficulties. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to turn this around and try to land it, if I can. <laughs> so, um, VTOLs are pretty good. They're, I mean, they're not too useful in most scenarios. Um, but, I mean, they're awesome, which is one good thing about them. Uh, one of the downsides is they tend to be unable to go at high speeds, like, faster than Mach 1, usually. Um, like this one, before I added the VTOL engines, it was able to go, uh, one kilometer per second without any problems. But now that I have the, um the VTOL engines on it, because you see it it screws up the aerodynamics of it, and it tends to make it go very slow, and from what I've seen, it looks like it cuts the speed by about one-third or so, because, like I said, it was going a kilometer per second before, and now it's going 300, uh, approximately 300. Um, so I'm just gonna land this here. It's pretty easy to land. Uh, sometimes you smash it like that. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm just gonna revert the flight, space plane hangar, and now I will show you how to make a VTOL. So, I, I don't know, you can start off with this cockpit if you want to, but in my opinion, I prefer to use th this one. Uh, so, start off with fuel, of course, or nose cone, actually, but I use, I tend to use fuel for the nose cone, like this, and just to make it look slightly better, you don't have to do this, I just put that in a bit like that, and then the nose cone, yay, the uh, small nose cone. Anyway, next I will place, let's see, good thing to do is just uh, liquid fuel. Um, you could do a rocket-powered VTOL if you want, but it's not as efficient. Uh, and then I usually do something like this, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that this design. Let's see. Yeah, I'll, I'll do something like this. Um, so I'll get that, and then this one here. That's just for aesthetics, really. Uh, you're going to want to take the oxidizer out, of course, because that could cause problems while you're flying. And then, you can use engines, let's see. So, you can use any engine. I mean, these ones work, but they're, of course, very slow. Uh, these ones work, but they don't look as good on a VTOL craft. Well, for the VTOL portion, anyway. On the back, they look good, but... Um, I prefer to use the Panthers because they have afterburners. Uh, you don't really need the afterburners for VTOL, but it's it's still good just the way these engines are to begin with. So you're going to want to bring up these things, center of mass, lift, and thrust. So right here you see center of lift, mass, and center of th thrust. Yeah. Um, so now we need wings, of course, which is in my opinion, the most important part of a plane, because otherwise it would not be able to fly at all. 
Uh, so you're going to want the center of lift be slightly behind the center of mass when you're designing these planes. So, first of all, I'll just use these for this plane, I suppose. Um, yeah, I think that'll be good. And to make it slightly more aerodynamic, I will... And this will make the plane go slightly faster. I will rotate these wings and move them inward, like so. So now that you see the uh, center of lift is really far back now, which is not too good, so you're going to want more wings up front. Uh, these are a bit too big. <laughs> um, let's see here. I guess swept wings could work. That doesn't look very good, though. I'm going to try to get something that looks fairly good. Uh, this one, I'm just going to use one fin in the back. Because that actually makes it more stable. The two fins that I used on my other plane were just for looks. So there we go, we got one fin there. Um, actually, I think I might just move these ones up. Yeah, I think that'll be better in this case. Move these ones up, and then over a bit, like that. And then I'll use smaller wings, like the same tail fin, as the back, like that. There we go, and you see center of lift is slightly behind the center of mass, which is good. Uh, I will call this VTOL Craft 1. Okay, so what you're going to want to do first is, uh, before you put any VTOL engines on, it's best to just test the plane, make sure it flies, of course. Um, so I'll just put on some landing gear. Uh, which I always have trouble with, because I'm bad at placing things. So first, I'm going to place this one here, of course. Then, going onward, we shall place these, like so. Which might cause some issues. Hold on. Let me move these up a bit into a better position. That should be good, I think. Now, so, we're gonna test this plane, make sure it flies. Oh, speaking of which, flying. You need intakes, of course. Um, without intakes, your plane will not fly. Um, so, I'm gonna add some intakes to this, right there, like so. And I will be adding more once I actually add the VTOL portion, but first, let me make these look better by pushing them inside slightly, and rotating. There we go. Okay, that looks slightly better. Now, I will launch the craft. Loading. Okay, so first you want to just make sure, of course, that the plane flies, and clearly, it does not, so I need more intakes. I'll revert the flight, space plane hangar. Maybe I don't, but I'll do it anyways. Um, a good intake would be right here. Hmm. I actually don't think I needed these intakes, I just didn't wait long enough. If it, if it had actually taken off, I'm pretty sure there would have been enough. Uh, there for it to take off perfectly fine, but I will just add this intake just in case, and push that up a bit, so, yeah, okay. Uh, maybe move it up slightly. No, that's the wrong one, oops. Okay, there we go, that should be good now. Now it should be able to fly. So I'll just start off on a bit of a lower thrust, and that should let, allow it to take off. So once it gains some speed... Yeah, now it'll get more air in the intakes. And it should be able to... If the wheels don't have problems, that's very strange. Um, should be able to fly. There we go. Um, not sure why the wheels are doing that. That's a bit strange. But now we've taken off successfully, and I shall just shut down these engines and switch the mode 
because I forgot to set up an action group. And now this thing should be able to get to very high speeds while the afterburners are on, and we will find out in just a moment. So we'll go into first person view, first Kerbal view, and we'll see what kind of speeds Jeb picks up here. You can see we're already going faster than Mach 1. Uh, so like I said, you're, you're going to want to test a plane first, see what kind of speeds it's going, because I'm pretty sure about one-third the speed is what you'll get of this now, is what you'll get when you actually make it into a VTOL. So we see, I'm just going to test for max speed here, and it looks like, again, this is probably going to go about a thousand meters per second, which is pretty nice, actually. Um, yeah. You can see how quickly it accelerates away from the space center. Uh, actually, it looks more like 900, which is fine. That's pretty fast. Anyways, I'll revert to space plane hangar now, and save that. Now, in order to add the VTOL engines, you're going to want to look at the center of mass. Now, right here, you see, it's the center of mass. And in order to place the VTOL engines on, I shall place this right in the center right where the center of mass is. If I place it more accurately, that would be better. I'm going to try to place that as accurately as possible, which I am not doing too well at at the moment. So, you see, there we go. Now that's in the center of mass. Now you're going to want your engines. So, I will place one of these. There we go. Now, I'm going to want two VTOL engines. I I think this plane could probably lift off with one, but I'm putting two just to be sure. It'll make it take off faster, and it'll just be better overall. So now, I'm going to put this up like so, and I shall turn this off and rotate the engines. Downward. Maybe it would have been better to leave that on. Yes, okay. So, engines shall be rotated like so. And then I'm going to move this over so that the engines do not touch, and upward. And you see, we want these as straight as possible, like so. Now we've got the VTOL engines on this plane. Let's see if it flies. I hope it does. Um, so we're going to want to set up some action groups. Now, custom one, I will set up as just afterburners for uh, toggle mode. Uh, let's see. Um, not sure. Oh, switch mode is right at the top. It's confusing because it says toggle mode when you're in here. Um, so then we'll go here and we'll click activate engines. So when you press that, it'll activate the VTOL engines. And then here, we're going to want to click shutdown engines. So that'll shut down the engine. And. Yeah, uh, this one I guess I can just do toggle engines, so that'll make it so both engines go on at the same time, or switch, I guess. Um, yes, so now I will save and launch the craft. Hopefully this will work. So it takes a bit of experimenting sometimes. So first you can want to turn the brakes on, it's probably best. And then uh, press 2 to turn on the VTOL engines. See? The... That's one problem. I forgot to mention. Uh, you need more air intakes, of course, uh, when adding the VTOL engines. It's best to add more intakes, because otherwise you have issues with taking off the plane. So you're going to want to go in here and just grab some... probably these. You can do whatever you think looks aesthetically pleasing. It doesn't really matter too much. I guess just this will work. I'm not sure if it's better for them to go up like this. That's what I did on my other craft. So I'm going to try that here, too. See, there we go. Now we've got those facing upwards, and I will move this down. And that should be good, I think. Maybe rotate this like so. And move it downward. Now, I think that'll be enough to get this off now, off the, off the runway. So I shall save that and launch. Now, let's see, press 2, 
There we go. It appears to be lifting off. I forgot to turn the brakes on, though. Ah, uh, yes, another problem you have. <laughs> so, if the plane starts to tilt backwards like that, um, the, probably the best solution is actually to just rotate these engines slightly. So, you're going to want to rotate them like so, since it was tilting backwards. And then, you should be able to save and launch again. And it should work this time. I think the only reason it was tilting backwards like that might be because of the way the landing gear are set up on this plane, which would make sense. Uh, so now I'm going to try this again. And you see it works. So the plane lifts off vertically. And it just takes a few tries, and you get everything right after a while. So after you take that, I'm going to press 3 to press the wrong button. Okay, four, I mean. And that will switch the engines. And turn on the afterburners, just so it speeds up a bit faster. And there we go. We have a working VTOL. So, now let's see how fast this plane goes now. I'm not entirely sure if my one-third idea was correct or not. Um, so I'm just going to speed this plane up. See, I'm assuming it'll reach about Mach 1. Maybe, maybe a bit less... VTOLs tend to go pretty slowly, like I said, that's one of the downsides of them. Um, so, unless you manage to hide the engine somehow, maybe like in a cargo, uh, cargo bay or something. I'm gonna try that, I guess, next, uh, see if that works. Yeah, so we're going about Mach 1, I think. It's, no, no, 351, I think, is Mach 1. Um, but yeah, that works. So, you see, we can do some crazy stunts with these kind of planes, too. Uh, even though VTOL mode is not currently enabled. Well, actually now it is, but... <laughs> you can pull off some cool stunts with these, which is nice. Um, so I'm just gonna fly this now. Uh, back to the KSC. And I'll just go four times speed. And that's... pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna try to land vertically, uh, which can be sometimes difficult. Because I'm bad at this game. I'm not a very good pilot. I just prefer to design things. So yes, now the VTOL engines are on. I'm gonna do this. Slow myself down as much as possible. And I will try to land this craft. And then that will be the end of the VTOL building tutorial. So, let's see here. Pull the thrust up. I think I started a bit too early, yeah. I need to go down a bit. I'll put the landing gear down. Just so when I land, it's not too big a problem. So these things can also just land, uh, like normally, of course, uh, and take off normally. I don't know about that with this plane, of course, because, uh, it's, uh, I kind of messed up there. I didn't land vertically, but, you know, it still landed, and didn't take too long to stop, which is nice, but it still tipped over, which I guess could just be easily solved by putting the landing gear down and back up again. <laughs> there we go. Now, so, I guess that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it's my first tutorial that I've done in this game. Uh... If you liked it, then please tell me in the comments that you liked it, and tell me how to improve, because this is, like I just said, my first time, and I am not entirely sure what you guys want for these kind of things, or if you even want them at all. Uh, just tell me if this was bad, or if it was horrible, or, <laughs> or good. Uh, and I will take your feedback, and I will put that into the possibly next tutorial that I do in this game, which might be about building SSTOs, but I'm not entirely sure. So I will see you guys in the next tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.